to current the Digital Futures Graduate Program Exhibition and Thesis Show of 2017. I'm Dr. Martha Ladley, the Graduate Program Director for Digital Futures, and I want to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. The award for the best exhibited thesis work goes to Jordan Shaw. Uh, it's an interactive installation with the hopes of getting people to feel challenged about their relationship with technology and the data that's created uh, in the physical world with uh, data tracking and uh, the connected devices. We have two winners for best social innovation and the first is Marcelo Mugler. Yeah! The Amelia project is trying to find solutions to mitigate loneliness uh, experienced by elders uh, later in life and the way I'm doing this is by uh, designing a pair of internet connect objects um, that mediate uh, intimate and, and close interaction between the elders and their families. What are the best thesis documents? The best social innovation. I created um, Immersive 360 verbatim documentary. It's about Canadian uh, immigration detention system. Uh, for the story, I use the court transcription dialogues uh, word by word, that's why it's verbatim. And also I found the 3D scenes online available. One of the best thesis defense presentations. And there are two winners in this category. First one is the UD. project is called a smart kit. What I aim to do is to create a smart uh, hacking toolkit to allow the average person to create their own smart furniture by DIY approach. And the second award goes to Ega. Yeah! My project is about holacracy, a peer-to-peer -peer organizational system and how to introduce it through play and contextualized simulation. So my project is called Little Bookcase Publications, which is a cooperative board game for four players to introduce the fundamentals of holacracy. We are working with new authors who want their works published. It's about the power of interactive art. The idea is to challenge the roles of artists the materials that make up the artwork and also the audience. Rather than being a static work of art where each section is a distinct and separate entity, uh, it's a collaboration between the artists, the materials, and the audience participants. WiseWiz is a platform to engage mature adults back into the workforce during their retirement phase through intergenerational knowledge transfer. So my research actually opens up a dialogue to respect the transitional nature of retirement. During my research, I came across a lot of challenges faced by retired and retirement eligible faculty members. Uh, these include like ageism, um, shortfalls in pension plans and healthcare benefits. I'm a visual communication designer from Ecuador and my project's name is AGM. It's Augmented Reality Technologies for the Adaptation of Equatorial Intangible Cultural Heritage. I decided to explore for this project different motion sensing technologies and uh, how to adapt uh, a ritual from the shore community, which is a community in the Ecuadorian Amazon. They do a ritual every year. So I basically adapted the main concepts of this ritual into uh, a body performance using Kinect and Unity. My goal is to establish a set of design guidelines of interaction and user interface designs in virtual reality application for visual analytics. In order to do that, I build a VR application and immersive data visualization environment. I designed this application for expert users where they already have a good understanding of the underlying data set, which is the recreational courses at community centers in Toronto. Uh, my thesis project is called Social Medium. It's about trying to facilitate face-to-face -face interaction between two individuals away from distractions such as smartphones. 
Um, I do this through uh, concepts of persuasive design to create objects which exist in the real world, uh, such as a dining table and a board game designed for specific social situations. For my thesis project, I've developed a augmented reality map for the city of Toronto to engage citizens with open government data. Uh, users can use like a smartphone or a tablet and investigate the city. So they can point this, uh, their tablet to the city and gather information about uh, house prices in the city over time, uh, where the local employment is, or even just uh, bring up geographical landmarks. 